Damn it, OBS. Stretch. Ah, stretch. Stretch Dickery's a miracle. He does the impossible. Mm. Welcome, one and all, to... Wait, is everything... Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> ah, minor technical difficulties involving... Dicking around with a lot of headsets that screwed with my audio settings on OBS and decided it wasn't going to monitor anything at all, didn't try. So, got that sorted, got that out of the way. Ugh. Nonsense. Here's hoping things are going good on your end. Welcome back, King Thunder. Um, and, okay, and one little side note. If you should happen to hear a loud explosion, that's just the sky deciding... What the hell? Yeah, that's just the sky deciding it's just quit on the whole holding water thing. Um, so the internet could drop out at any moment because crazy ass weather. Yeah, but I'm doing this anyway because that's how I roll. <laughs> Today's message is we almost could have lived in a world where Tiffany Grant, the voice of Oscar Langley Soryu, Evangelion's English dub, was also the voice of Yoko Littner. Oh, that would have been interesting. Oh man, I can't help but wonder what happened in that audition. <sighs> Auditions. A magical time. Mm. Except when they're less than magical, apparently Tom Holland had an odd, um, cameo thing happen. He's gonna have a cameo in that Enter the Spider-Verse thing it fell through I was reading recently. <sighs> well, anyway, where am I? Ah, yeah, this asshole! So... Yeah, most of the stuff I've been playing on this game has been missions, and that's usually usually how a chunk of this goes. So I figured today, and I am going to do a few missions, that's not even that's not even a big worry. I just want to focus a bit more on Arena. I think part of my issue in these games is always quick control, quick find control of whatever AC. It's what I remember in Armored Core 4, kicking my ass. I mean, holy shit, I cannot describe how bad I was at, at piloting. It took me forever to beat AC4. So, today I want to focus a little bit on one-on-one -on -one combat in the form of getting my ass handed to me in the arena. And hopefully handing some ass back. Okay. Incre incomplete. Oh, ADV. Oh, shit! Everything I've seen from AD, ADV has been great, and it makes me sad what happened, and I seem to remember them going under, and I need to find more details on that. Let's see. Ah, uh, only finished five episodes. Damn it! Hmm. There's a way to look that up. I would not mind doing so. Okay. ADV is in fact defunct. Okay, yeah, I seemed, I thought I'd heard them fading to the, into the ether like four kids, but, you know, actually good at what they do. Um, <laughs> oh man, four kids. You never heard of ADV having to swap apples into people's hands. Ugh. Oh man, what was that, that one series? Uh, I think one of my first romps with them was my brother's copy of Dirty Pair Flash that uh, was dubbed by them. Holy shit, I need to watch through that again. That was good stuff. Okay, any, anywho, let me take a quick peek at this bucket's loadout, which is probably going to have to change. I, I know right offhand, energy consumption is always an issue with me, and um, I want to say one of the weapons on this thing is an energy weapon. I really need to change that because... I'm not in this for my, I'm not, I'm not in this to save that much money, so... Let's see, Gorgon, this is... Laser rifle! Focused beam of a laser energy, okay. Ah. Well, then. It seems we have a dilemma. Both of its weapons are energy weapons. That's gonna hamper mobility, because I boost a lot. Sometimes too much. So where are we? Okay, this is the right arm, so shotgun. No, not yet. This hobo will not shotgun yet. Okay, that's a lot of bullets and a lot of damage, but not quite what I'm looking for. Hmm. 
Pixie 3. That's always a, a good fallback for me. I mean, I'm used to doing automatic weapons, but I think I'm going to let that go for a minute. Okay, where is... Let's see. Anime on DVD. Oh, God, I hated that. Ugh. Oh, man. That would be amazing if those five episodes were on a DVD, but getting that for... Maybe I'm just being a pessimist, but getting that for under $500 seems like it would be one hell of a hat trick. Let's see, what's this? Another automatic weapon, I think? Test model designed for use in mobile combat. Oh, it's energy. And, oh, guess the Karasawa. Okay. Hmm. Man, I remember the old days of him pushing out DVDs, just like DVDs like that, and it makes me sad that that was a thing, but now it makes me sad in the other way, in that everything has to be on a streaming service. Like, if you can find DVDs and stuff, you know. You know, the glorious all-digital future. Okay, where's the... where's the shop? Is it an assembly? But, yeah. I need to get some more series. I'd like to get the Golgo th uh, 13 set, because holy shit, I watched through that a while back. Mm, I love that show. Let's see, bye. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah, here we go. Bye, move to right arm and rifles. Okay, let's see. So, a lot of my problem, I think, is that my, my over-reliance on automatic weapons and uh, using that to sort of compensate for my limited accuracy by literal spray and pray. So I want to see if I can focus a little bit more on, on aim as well. Pocket sand! <laughs> oh, man. Let's see. So accuracy is a thing. And uh, let's see. Solid special. Okay. Hmm. Let's start from the back, actually. Okay. Is that a parrying blade? Yep, parrying blades. Just pass those. Just skip right by them. Plasma. Palsma. Oh, what was it? it had Palsma listed. I think that might have been that Doom fanfic. Plasma. Laser. Skull. Shadow and Ghast. Let's see. What is that? That's a dual laser rifle? Shade. All right. Did I pass the shadow and gas? I'm gonna take a quick. Ah, oh, shadow. Here we go. Hmm. 180 rounds. This has got a decent capacity. Let's see, gas. Where are you at? 150 rounds. I think the attack power. Okay. This one, let's see, added ammo. Okay, it has less ammo and less attack power than the other one. Let's see the energy drain range. Hmm, I think the other one's got this one beat on the energy drain and range, but considering it's a solid weapon, I think I'll go with uh, the uh, ghast here. They're, they're both solid and... Uh, I'm not terribly worried about energy drain when I'm switching from energy weapons to solid. I don't think they'll, they'll be that huge an issue. So, damn, now I need to watch Aliens again. Oh, man. I was reading something to the effect that Aliens Colonial Marines is considered part of the universe's canon. I'm like, I, I hope that's wrong. I, I hope that that's wrong. Not because the story in Aliens Colonial Marines is bad or anything. Because I don't know that it is. I can't say one way or the other. I all I can ooh, dual gassed. Nice. Dual wield! Wait a second. What? Hmm. What did I do? Oh. Wait. Okay. I want to back out for a second because I think I just did something dumb. Okay, so AC setup, assembly, right weapon. Where'd you go? Gast. 
Equip and left weapon. Is there another? Do I have another gas that I? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. And let's see. Ah, yeah, here we go. Let's see, Evangelion. Yes, I I wouldn't mind acquainting myself with a few more uh, dub actors too, because that's that's the thing is a lot of the voice actors and actresses I know are from Western productions, a lot of uh, U.S. stuff. Um, so while I've heard of names like Sean Schimmel and Yuri Lowenthal and a uh, handful of others, for one, I'm not as familiar with voice actresses, and for two, I'm not familiar with enough anime names. Hmm. I feel like that's a significant failing on my part let's see one last thing on this thing i think the i think the shoulder shoulders could use a little bit of a touching up so let's see that was it the right shoulder yeah right shoulder has the missile launcher okay here we go mm, i didn't i did not give the shoulders a lot of attention Hmm, Berserk 97, the only Berserk that I think I would actually want to watch. Um, I've seen a bit of the animation from that last Berserk series that was released, all the kind of not good CG. And while I've heard things said about it looking like a PS2 game, I'm like, no, no, I wouldn't say it looks like a PS2 game. PS2 games had fewer polys and more frames. Uh... <laughs> So Berserk 97 looks very much to catch my interest. So if I if I start watching Berserk anime, that's really where I think I would want to start. In spite of the stuff that was uh, on Netflix last I saw. So let's see, buy something for the shoulder. Just, I think, a multi-missile, perhaps? Start on episode two and watch the first episode at the end? Oh, it's one of those things. Uh, that's weird that starting a series starting anything a production off like at the very end of it or way into it and then backtracking the beginning it's an interesting bit sometimes i don't think i've ever quite gotten the it's always been jarring to me i don't know why okay there's a martin lawrence movie i remember doing that once too which I hate to put Martin Lawrence in the same discussion as Berserk ever, but, um, yeah. yeah. Okay, small missiles, 12 log max. Ooh, micro missiles, right. I seem to remember a certain... I want to say I had a Kinara at one point in Nexus. So let's go ahead and grab this, just because why not? There's probably better ones, but... I just want to get something in so I can get into the arena. Let's see, episode two. Okay, AC setup. Assembly. Here we go. Now, a lot more. Yeah, Martin Lawrence would benefit from being in discussion about anything right now. I mean, at least he's got bad boys for life coming out eventually i mean because that's totally happening right <laughs> that hasn't been on the back burner for eternity uh. okay anyway let's go ahead and save real quick uh aco4 i don't recall i remembered saying something about naming this thing soon and i never really thought of anything during the week because oh my god the week it it was what it was but um yeah this thing needs a name. I want to see how its performance goes, though, before I think of anything, because I don't know if I've named based on performance in this series yet. I don't know, maybe Ox King? Hmm, okay. VR Arena. VR. <sighs> okay, so... Okay, so we've got... like 30 people in the arena, and I've already beaten a couple of them, so... let's... I remember stopping on that because seeing that hover unit. Oh, uh, well, I am not going to get better if I don't just jump right on in. So let's do. Ooh, FF8 Devil Trigger. Okay. 
Yeah, that is a game, at least when looking for the white seed ship, where I think it, I could have really benefited from a guide when I was going through that. So I can buy that. I don't know how far you are into that. But, uh, damn, I need to play that. Now, I mentioned doing like an RPG day or something at some point, but uh, I think for uh, RPGs, first RPG, whatever I play, I might do that as recordings and do those for... Shit, heal, I have used that phrase kind of a lot. I wouldn't be, <laughs> I wouldn't be averse to doing it. But yeah, I might... Um... Okay, hello. Hello. But yeah, as I was saying, as far as uh, RPG days, long-form RPGs, I might start off by doing those as recordings and posting those on YouTube, since I can't post them to Twitch because they removed uploads, because whatever. And um, test, it, uh, test out the waters there. Okay, ooh, those guns are fired fast. Oh, man. I'm going to have to be a little more careful about my aim than I thought. Or I will burn through ammo like toilet paper. Okay. Where's your heat, buddy? Where's your heat? I want to burn you out. I might have to check the UI options. Oh, okay. I still got a decent bit of ammo. He's got a lot less AP than he'd like, I'm sure. All right. I think I... Oh, what the... Oh, boy. Is this controller going to do that again? I just ground to a stop for like a about a second. I think I might know... Oh, there it goes. Oh, there's a stupid hole in the sky on that Mirage is three. AT fields! All right. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't think I've viewed a replay, so I'm going to take a couple seconds. I'm going to view the whole replay. I just want to see how this looks in here. Oh, man. The idea of Final Fantasy with AT fields. Damn it, I need to play that game. Hmm. And I'm most of the way through the initial modding of Skyrim. Speaking of, okay, where's the buttons? Ah, here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, this does look nice. I mean, it looks about the same as previous AC games. I just wanted to get a feel for how the replays did. But, uh, yeah. Is it through the initial modding of Skyrim? So I should hopefully be able to start recording that soon. Um, I do those. I, w I would like to post those up on YouTube. Um, uh, no ETA on that because I've been wanting to record Skyrim for like the entire time that I've been streaming. Uh, I mean, throw a Final Fantasy VIII mod in there or something if there's something available. I did find one thing from Berserk. Um, mods are a little bit in the slim pickings. Oh, okay. Yeah, I killed the replay. Mods are a little bit in the slim pickings department for uh, Berserk stuff. There's a few things out there, but uh, I think I got the most important one. Ugh. Oh, not for FF8. Sorry, I'm bounding back and forth due to... Limited sleep and slightly less limited caffeine. What time is it? Oh, I know what time it is. It's... I said it's... It's... Time for one more round. Ugh. Damn it! At least my fingers taste like cherry now. Ah! I wouldn't be surprised if there were some Berserk mods for Final Fantasy VIII, but that seems like a... interesting combination. I don't think there's one that makes the dragon say that, but there are mods that make my um, that make dragons say "Macho Madness, Sky's the Limit, Yeah." So no, I'm not putting Macho Dragons in my Skyrim run, not till the end, at least. <laughs> oh my god. Um. So no, no replays there. All right. So that that actually performed a lot better than I thought. I think. I might have a name for it, based on another game. Potato Shooting Portal Guns. Hmm. That would make the game about 36% more delicious and filling. Hmm. Wait, if we ferment the potatoes, that would actually explain some of FF8's plot. But Skyrim, on the other hand. Ah, anyway. Alcohol aside, next in the arena... Aubrey Vion. I'm going to go Vion. Heavyweight, two-leg AC designed for long-range combat. The unit's lack of speed is offset by... What the hell was that? 
by its well-rounded weapon selection. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do one thing after this next arena round, and I want to see some more about Ooh, Desert Eagle. Heck yeah. Certainly beats Desert Punk. I'm sorry, I hated the end of that anime so much. I loved that series up until like the last couple of episodes. And it's the kind of thing, the, the twist toward the end is the kind of thing it's like I should have, I should have seen coming. Characters behaved in, in ways at the end that their motivations kind of telegraph, but it it's like you expect different of them and shit came to a head. Oh, this is a tighter arena, I think. Oh, this is definitely a tighter arena. Yes! Yes, watch your armor melt like butter under a hail of bullets. Uh, and it's got an orbit can. Oh, hello. Uh, things still packs a bit of a punch, but hey, okay. Let's see if I can get a different FCS. This firebox isn't exactly huge. It's not super small, but it, I, I, if I can get one with a bigger, bigger firebox, I think that'll be much to my benefit. Uh, let's see, what am I doing? Man, this thing is doing nicely. Oh, back away, back away, back away. Got it. Dual gas indeed. I mean, oh, I have an e I keep forgetting I have an EO. Damn it, my tools. Yeah, and thanks for that recommendation on the gas uh, there, King Thunder, because I needed solid weapons, and these... Wow, they spit out the bullets. <laughs> I've got to be a little bit more careful with my aim now. But that's just me needing to learn in general. Like how I need to learn to use my Exceed Orbit when when I have them available. Ooh, thing, that, this thing can spit out a lot of bullets. Hmm. Okie dokie. And welcome there, Sigma Virus. <laughs> Horizontal for dual, um... Yeah, I like the horizontal, I mean, widescreen game alone, that definitely helps, but it feels like the firebox is a little bit on the small side, and my accuracy is kind of bad just in general, not even an armored core thing, just my accuracy as a player. All right, see. special lock on, oh, oh, right. I never paid enough attention to the special lock on type. Um, so that's probably why I'm not noticing that one. I think mine might be a wide and shallow, my uh, FCS. So let's take a quick peek at that. Let's see. AC setup. Assembly. I'm going to take a quick peek because I'm going to play around a bit with the FCS. Sideway. It is a sideway. Okay, as opposed to wide and shallow. That's something I never quite understood. Gassed with a left machine gun. Yes, interesting. <laughs> All right, um, let's see. Do I have a wide and shallow? Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of red there. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so the left machine gun had more of an effect on increasing the size? Hmm. Okay, well, let's see real quick. Um, I'm kind of curious, because I got a couple of wide and shallow FCSs, whereas the... Max... Um, yeah, I'm going to go with the Limpet over the uh, F73H here for just a moment. I'm going to go through one battle, see if I can... Ooh get a little bit more size out of this before changing up the the weapons one more time the fcs for dual wielding parallel sight and compatibility okay let's take one quick peek at that before i go blundering into the arena although this thing's already doing so well okay whoa uh specs parallel sight 85 Hmm. Let's see. Support missiles. 
extra ammo extensions. Right, I forgot those things are even a thing. But then again, I've only just really started um, fiddling with this. So let's see. Extensions. Do I have ex any kind of good extensions? Back, anti-missile. Shell magazine. All right. Parallel sights. Left arm unit compatibility. Wide and shallow, left machine gun, and... All right. Okay. So, so I don't lose too much of the plot right out the gate. Since I've changed the FCS and added the uh, this thing, I'm going to do one more arena battle and then switch to the left machine gun and see if I see any other difference. If I'm just blind, I would hate to be... Okay, let's see. Aubrey, okay. Okay. Leandro! Yeah, the numbers... The numbers can mean a little, but there's just so many of them, and I am far from a statistician. So, some of them I'll pay a bit of attention to, uh, other ones I, I do tend to lose the plot on a little bit, so... Yeah. Okay, so Leandro with the AC Warp Time, and that... Ooh, that is a pointy machine. A pointy machine with what looks like a pair of automatic rifles. I'm gonna catch fire. Hmm. Lightweight reverse joint AC design. It uses missiles as its primary means of attack. Why does it have machine guns? But okay. Mobile combat tactics help keep opponents guessing. <laughs> okay. News from Devolver Digital. Oh my god, I wish they'd post something about that. It's like, come on, Devolver! Sideways lock-ons. Yeah, those sideways and wide and shallow are like... They're like my jam. I just like having the width there. I don't look up and down enough for verticality to be so much of a of import. So I, I kind of... I can dig that suggestion. Um... Yeah, but Devolver Digital, it's like, oh, oh, this got narrower and taller. Okay. Noted. Okay, um, complications. Come on, where we at? Oh, hello. Okay. Exceed orbit, because I am not keeping my eye on the target enough. I might have to go back to other FCS if the machine gun... Swap. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, I knew I was going to catch fire. This thing's bring, bringing my heat up a little bit. Wait, no, it's not. Whoa. What was I looking at? Hello. Okay. Oh, whoa. Okay. okay. Leaving area. Damn it. Okay, this guy is nimble, and I am not accommodating it well enough. Okay, what are you doing? What are you doing, guy? Come on. Thank you, soulless data-spitting device. Your input on my inability to stay armored is... Oh, boy. He's in the lead. That's not good. I can't... Oh, put away the exceed orbit. Got it. Maybe I should find cover for a moment. He's not going to allow that, is he? Not for long. Okay, the orbits are not recharging. Okay. Damn. Okay. Oh, because I have solid orbits. That's right. Okay, I will catch the chat in a second. This guy is keeping me on my toes. I am... <sighs> come on, come on. Take the bait. Ring out. Whoa. He's not firing much, is he? Wait. He's not firing much. Okay. Come on. Come on, guy. I can just keep locked onto... No! I can keep locked onto him for like five seconds. Come on. He's too nimble. I don't think I'm going to be able to use the Kinara here. Oh! That was... What the hell just happened? Okay. Oh! I think he's kind of got my uh, same idea here. Okay, get a little back from him. Okay, Nara. Okay. 
Just got to keep a little bit of range. Oh, didn't get much of a hit, but it was enough. Urgh. Okay. It just became a bit of a range game. Um, range game, I think he might be a little better at than me. All right. Okay. Oh, no. Ooh. This is a close one. Okay, come on. Okay, Kanara's down. Uh, bullets. Bullets. Do things. Controller do things. Wait, is he out of ammo? Okay, come on. Well, only one way to find out. Standing in the same place like a dumbass. Which is something I'm stupendously good at. Haha, -ha, I am now a turret. A very poorly aiming turret. Okay, right arm is out. Oh, this could... This could be... I might need to go fingers. Okay, stop for a second, guy. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Okay, weapon lock on. Oh, holy crap. Yeah, tanks. I actually do have a tank. The wonderful Agatha. Okay, and I have not used a whole lot of her this stream. Let's see, where's the... Light mechs. Oh man, I would shatter white glass in a light mech. Okay. Weapon lock on. Okay. Oh, dual wielding gives the small. I guess that's. I guess that sort of makes sense. Having two weapons at once, in general, lowers your accuracy, and shrinking that box simulates that effect. So I guess that makes sense. Let's see the extension. Oh. The extension! Ah! Okay. Chug the last of that soda. So yeah, that was... That was interesting. Let's see. This looks like a grenade launcher. Wait. Handgun. So this is it. Oh, revolver then. Okay, nice. Yeah, the missile lock time. Yeah, if you... I played around a little bit with that. Not so much on this stream, but... Like, in my own personal time in the past, I played a little bit with really, really tight missile lock times. And since then, I haven't really built, like, a missile boat or anything for the stream. Which, um, set back in, I think, two and another age. And I didn't play enough with the uh, lock times there, but yeah, you have fast lock time and missiles on, like, missiles coming out of every orifice. You can rip something apart pretty quick, and it's fun to watch. It's it's 4th of July. It's it's a fireworks spectacular, I should say. Let's see. More than enough bullets to kill anything that moves. All right, so let's see. I don't think I'm a fan of that FCS, however, the verticality definitely helped with that lightweight, because that tiny little bit, it doesn't seem like much, but the other FCS, I think, has, it would be like about two-thirds as tall as this one, so that, that makes a difference. So let's go ahead with the right-hand automatic rifle, right-hand machine gun, let's see AC setup, just to, just to play around with. Arm right. And then you see if I can slip something in the hangers. Let's see. Yes, this is on the right hand, left hand. Okay, what is this? Oh, I forgot this thing. Let's see. Do I want to give this one a chance right now? Because it's got such limited ammo for how much I spray. Hmm. See. Yeah, let's uh, let's go with this for the well. Let's take a quick tour. Dragon. Oh, 
bright hangers. Damn it! Ugh. Not using my tools and considering tools that I don't have. Okay, so let's see. This is a laser rifle. I think it goes back to the whole bullets thing. So let's switch to this machine gun because it puts out a lot of hurt and it just runs out of ammo a bit fast. So let's do that and stick with the current FCS just to see the difference. All right, it's booting up your copy. All righty. Learning. Let's go ahead and save as well. Got a good bit of arena cleared this time. Because usually I only do like three or so dudes and then I go into a mission, which I'm going to go into a mission in just a minute. Once I get this thing settled, I think it'd be nice to try in a mission. Let's see, Leandro and Genie. Ooh, nice portrait. AC name Ninja. Lightweight, two leg AC design, performs well in close range combat situations. Primary weapons are Core EO and left arm equipped laser blade. <sighs> he looks like he's got to go fast. That looks like. I don't know if that's a shotgun on his right hand. This guy looks like he is going to be a trial. Let's see what I'm even up against. Great. Uh emblem as well okay an hour Ooh. oh damn i do not want to do that oh god a lightweight uh lightweights are my kryptonite they are my weakness i Ooh, the training space that just looks so cool Oh, this is a much bigger firebox. Okay, hello. I I got the message, guy. You you. Okay. Time for the spray. Okay. Whoa. Let my finger off for a second. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm sorry. We're, we're bullets not not enough for you. Here, have some more bullets. All of the bullets. Okay. Okay. I you you cheeky bastard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, orbit. Mm, blurs. Okay, he's. He, I, I think I'm getting the point. He, he he knows what's up. Okay. Okay. Uh, he's cheeky and he he knows what's up. He's he's good. He's he's definitely. Oh boy, almost. He's almost dead. 52? Oh, yes! Hold on! Micro-missiles. Mm. Yeah, that landing stability... I usually try to tap the uh, booster just a little bit before landing, trying to keep from hitting that really hard landing, because if you do, this thing just, it just feels like it takes forever to get back to mobility. But... Holy oh shit! That... I thought it was going to lean the other way. Mm. So that war that happened. Um yeah, I think th I think this might just be the layout. Um I lose out a bit on ammo because the right hand machine gun has um it it burns through its ammo really quickly and doesn't have a lot. However, the shoulder extensions, should I remember to use them? Should allevi alleviate some of that. More energy to spend toward the boosters rather than having those energy rifles. It means I get a little bit more mobility when I don't slam into the ground like I'm trying to do a hero pose. Um, I think that might be about my greatest weakness is the drop on this thing just hitting the ground. So this is... This is... This may have outmoded Blues Traveler. Um... Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to try that same arena match as Blues Traveler just to get a frame of reference and then I'll go into a mission because I think th I, this thing is getting named this stream. And Desert Eagle is sounding really nice.
because I was thinking of, you know, something a little more Borderlandsy and going Sputtering Spitter, but <laughs> I don't know if there's enough space for Sputtering Spitter. Uh, let's see. Which, uh, machine? Okay. And a C select. All right, now let's try. Okay. Ah, uh, Twitch. What is with Twitch lately? It just seems fragile. Oh boy. So here's Blues Traveler with. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, next arena guys, the girl from the opening and silent line. Okay. Silent line. Trying to remember that opening. Oh. Oh yeah, it took me a second. It took me a second. Yeah. Holy crap. Okay, now I said I'd try fighting Genie here in the AC Ninja one more time with Blues Traveler, so let's let's try this. I am fully expecting to lose here, because I don't think Bluesy's quite as, as... Well, Blues Traveler here, is, here burns through juice, so that that's his mobility is going to be an issue. It's like bursts of mobility or attacking. I had to choose with, with Blues Traveler. That was, oh. Okay. Oh, oh, overboost. Crap. Did not mean to fire that. Oh, you back away with that blade shenanigans. Okay, that's, whoa. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay, whoa. Gotta get out of there for a second. Whoa, hello. Okay, Bluesy might um, actually still <laughs> still be seeing some play here. Okay, okay, that's uh, that's not good. Okay. Okay, that was um, bad. I, I bled myself dry. <sighs> okay. No need to view that replay. Um. I think with a little bit more practice with Blues Traveler, I could get back to evening them out. They they both seem to play to different enough strengths where I think I can justify keeping Bluesy for a bit, but uh, yeah. AC04, you are getting named. I'm going to do one more arena and then a mission. Oh, booted up your coffee for the hangar cores already. Let's go in that garage. A select. Oh, and as a brief uh, mention earlier, Agatha here. Um, probably not the best balanced tank, but uh, it's gotten quite a bit of work done. All hail the fatal hole. Okay, that uh, that shoulder gun, that thing is just fun. Okay, but Agatha aside, let's see, select AC04, AC name entry. That LX cannon. Mm. See, one moment. I'm just gonna do this real quick. Nope, sputtering spitter wasn't happening. Okay, so. And. Okay, and where's okay? Okay, yeah, I need to change that. Uh, just a smidge. And. 
And yep, there we go. Desert Eagle, you have been called into service. May you wreck many faces and explode many heads. So, with that in mind, the newly christened Desert Eagle. Ooh, 100% comp complete save. Mmm! Sooner or later, I would very much like to do that to some of my copies here, because, I mean, I've just got my stream files, and I did not 100% any of them. The CO4 Atlas and CR7SU2. Decent options. Yeah! Because I, I really do want to try that hanger goodness. Just If I have just enough weight to throw the fingers of that nice little revolver. Oh, last ra and the raven save lost. Because from what I've played and what I've seen, this would be a rough one to lose that save on. Holy crap. Okay. Now, Arena Contestant 24... Well, 24th place, at least. Toothpick and AC Name Fracture. Played a demo of that game on 360. Interesting stuff, but kind of middling as far as a shooter goes. Um, lightweight two-leg model equipped with auxiliary boosters. Equipped laser rifle offers good firepower. So we got a laser rifle. And, oh shit, lightweight. I did just dawned on me. Max percentage is 148? What? <laughs> God. Okay, equipped laser rifle offers good firepower, but doesn't mesh well with a lightweight design, I'll say. Choke some of that mobility out. Okay. That is 148%. That is so weird. Oh, S ranks on every mission. I don't know that I could do that. So props to you. You are you are now officially just a, you are officially a better pilot than I. If you can S rank some of those, some of those missions, I don't see it happening. Not without like a guide. Oh boy, here we go. Let's see if I can get a head start. Okay. Woo! Hello. Altius, hello. Okay, where are we at? Okay, it's staying behind me. Staying on my my B range. Okay, hello. Okay, whoa. Uh, okay, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, whoa, hello. Am I going to have to meet you in the sky? I think I'm going to have to meet you in the sky. Whoa. And thank you much, Blasticator. Okay. I like you. I don't care what they're saying. <laughs> okay, ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's not good. Oh, did I just ring it? Whoa. Okay. My controller's doing that thing where it freaks out and freaks. What? Okay. That was the landing one, though. That wasn't the controller. That was just me being a bad. Okay. AP at 10%. And I'm getting shredded, so. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, I'm gone. Okay. Uh, this is on. PlayStation 2. Sadly, um, Armored Core 4 and uh, 4 Answer were the PS3 360 entries. So, for a PS2 game, this has surprisingly good graphics, which in a way makes sense because it was uh, put out in 2006 here in the States, but it's a pretty good looking game for um, for PS2. Hmm... <laughs> And it is the last one on PS2 at that. All right. Well, I'm not going to try my luck too much more against that AC just yet. And I think I might have figured out the spot that's locking down my controller at points. There's a spot on here that I'm pretty sure the wiring might be damaged. I think I need another PS2 controller. Ooh. And thank you for that follow, Sigma Virus. Thank you. Uh... This is one of my awake days. This is one of my lucid days, I will warn you. <laughs> uh, let's see. But as I said, I would go do one more arena and then go on to a mission, because I think I'm getting the hang of Desert Eagle. I mean, I'm obviously not up to 100% on account of 
aiming, and I don't. But still, still, <laughs> I am very much liking this this loadout. This is a very solid loadout, and thank you both. Thank you all for your your tips. The um, shoulder extensions, the offhand machine gun, um, middle missiles. It has come together in a very nice machine. This is a this is a nice machine. I don't know that I would have come to this conclusion on my own. I don't think I would have. Uh, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not going. This isn't the end just yet. I'm just saving real quick because I wanted to say thanks though for the the assistance on the thing though because yeah. But I am going to do this one mission though. Where's the where's the mission that? Also, quick, quick check the information stuff. Anything in the mail? Okay. Because I forgot all the plot beats from last time. Oh! Some dead ACs, apparently. Huh. Okay, so, oh, world report. That's what I'm looking at and going blank on. Okay, so technologies... Okay, yeah, I probably need to breeze through this, this all at some point before a stream to get myself primed and ready for um, whichever mission or missions I'm playing. But yeah, again, though, thanks, y'all, for, for this, because this is a nice, nice machine. And when I actually learn how to aim, it'll be devastating. Okay, so protect mission? No. <laughs> Destroy Raging Torrent 4. Interesting. Destroy AC, Vigilance, and... There's a, wasn't there another mission? Okay. No, there, there's only three. Okay, so I'm leaning at Destroy Raging Torrent 4. Let's see. The short Goliath route. Aw. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I seem to remember you mentioning that, and I never did look that up. But... Down the rabbit hole! This mission request has been issued by Vertex. They want help taking out a raven who works for Alliance. Those involved in the conflict rely heavily on AC power. Is that the one that Tesla was pushing or the one that... Oh. Okay, so... Ugh. Does this guy like an orc or something? They were weak and deserved to die. Don't suck, Raven. Meh. Because, I mean, I, I... I approve, but, you know... Orc's rule was back in AC2. I couldn't carry that AC forward. And even if I could, I'd get curb stunt because it was so slow. Ugh... I don't care how slow it is. I miss Orcs rule. Ooh, MTs. Oh, ECM jamming. Yee. That's something I might need to tweak in the head and radar department. Oh, this this area. Okay. Oh, hello. Where are you at, MTs? Okay, I'm. Okay. What? I am getting shredded. Where's? What in the hell? Okay. Oh. It's kind of hard for me to prioritize these guys because I'm having trouble shooting at anything. Okay. EO. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd wager I am. Okay. Oh, crap. I want to at least get in close. Okay. So I'm assuming the two darker units were the MTs. So I'm gonna do this mission one more time. See if I can get over that bump. Or are we getting a oh, just the game over screen? Booster was it? Birdie or Vulture? Hmm. Well, I'm about to find out either way because I'm I'm actually liking the booster performance. I have to admit. Uh. Let's see assembly 
the Vulture 2, no less. Uh, the Vulture 2. Um, let's see, where did I tune? I want to say I tuned it for lower heat because I was having heat problems in earlier stuff. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Gull. Real good low drain. Let's see, do I have the gull? All right. Yeah, thing is about boosters, I have a bit of difficulty telling them apart to an extent, aside from how fast they burn through power. So, they, they blur a bit together for me, sadly. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely died. I super died. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so the... Let's see what we got here. The numbers. Okay. Ooh, much lower booster heat. Oh, no. Other way. A higher booster heat. Uh, charge. Boost power is about the same. Charge drains close. Energy drains higher. Hmm. Worse acceleration and heat. Hmm. For a minimal improvement in charge, in uh, power and... Better charge drain by a chunk. This is a level of difference where I think I would have to play around a good bit to really notice. It's the charge drain, I think, that is like... That's the main thing here. Uh, oh, and the weight's a substantial chunk. If I needed to worry about hangar units, that would be a nice, nice bit. Ananda radiator and... Tuning with cooling. Yeah, I think that's basically what I dumped my tuning into on the Vulture 2 here. I want to say I just slapped them all into the booster heat. Um, so yeah, I'm going to stick with the Vulture 2, though, this time. Because, well, yeah, what the heck. I'm doing one more mission anyway, so let's let's just play around with it a bit. And I'll just switch it back after the mission if I'm... Let's see, booster heat. Woo. Hmm... Well, that cuts it down a bit. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so... Yeah, I still think I'm not likely going to notice the difference yet. I think that's the kind of thing I would likely be more likely to notice on extended play. However, it's getting equipped, so I'm going to play around with it a little bit right now. Um, and since I'm not really burning on missions, I don't think the heat's going to be a huge issue right out the gate. Okay, so let's do that mission. Alright, Mo Ichido! Alright. And skip all the... Put that jibba-jabba, fool! I love that animation, and I love the, the system startup thing at the beginning of the missions. I mean, it doesn't make sense, like, realistically, that the systems would be starting right there at combat, but it just looks cool! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so, let's see. So, I was under the assumption that the two big black units there were... ECM bots. Okay, whoa, hello. I don't know that I'm going to be able to beat all three of them. This this might not be doable without, like, Agatha, the way my accuracy and their ECM nonsense is. Unless I had some ECM-resistant gear. Okay, hello. Okay, yeah, I'm getting shredded. This heat is mounting very fast. And I'm out of juice. Okay. Yep, noticed. Caspian, noticed. Yeah, boy. No, Sheila. How can pieces come in? Except at velocity. You know. Blast radius. And... Okay, that'll work. Okay. Yeah, the... Uh... Yeah, I would definitely have to play around with the cooling, because that, that... 
Did I burn myself out? Yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with that a bit. Um, okay. Now it says retry mission, but yeah, I'm gonna do something in the AT AC test. I want to see something because I didn't notice if my using the booster mobility test. Oh, we have different tests. I missed that. Okay, test versus basic entry level AC. Not bad at all. But I'm going to go with the mobility test because I want to see. Oh, a murder tank. I am quite curious. But yeah, here I'm just entering this test to see if I'm burning myself out with this booster because I wasn't having that problem with the vulture. Okay, whoa, yeah, that is, that is a lot of heat generation. You, I would definitely have to tweak this thing a lot. Holy crap. I mean, the mobility is really nice. I mean, look at this thing go, but. Damn. Okay. Let's see, from zero to overheat. One. Two, three, four, five. About five and a half seconds to overheating. Oh, damn. Uh, let's go ahead and discontinue this test and switch back to the Vulture 2 and try that. See what happens. Alrighty. Because if you're about to give me a part loadout, I'm about to get my keyboard and screen cap that because I, I, I do like to tinker a bit. AC setup, switch back to the Vulture 2 and try that. Assembly booster. Okay, yeah, I don't have like a stopwatch or anything. I was I just have decent rhythm. I was a really mediocre drummer in, in my high school band, and so I, I, I got a bit of practice, but I was just got awful with a drum kit, so I stuck on the auxiliary stuff. <laughs> uh, so I tend to do audible timers if I... Oh, not the arena. I tend to do audible timers if I don't have a stopwatch on hand. Uh, let's see. VR test. Mobility. I mean, I have my cell phone right here. I just can't get into the... Where's the clock? Okay. System engaging test mode. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah. I've got similar movement, similar mobility here. But none of the heat. Yeah, I would definitely have to play around with that a bit. Okay. Lady B head. Oh, I like that head. Atlas Core, Budo Generator. All right. I don't know how many of these parts I actually have in my um, own inventory. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to discontinue this test. Can you copy an AC over to a new, to an empty or unused slot? That would be something. Okay. Let's see, AC setup. Hmm. AC select. Hmm. Let's go ahead and save one more time. Just, just to be sure, because make sure I got the Vulture 2 on here, because that's that's currently my... Okay. Burns until 43 and then cools immediately? Okay. Alright, now I'm going to use AC5 real quick to test this, since I don't know that... I don't know if I'm going to say this just yet. But I'm definitely going to, A, screen cap this, and B, 
Oh, you found the, the murder tank. Bunny hopping. Oh. Oh. All right. Let's see. AC setup. Assembly looks at Lady B. I want to say I have the Lady B. There's the Lady B. Or Atlas. And arms. Huh. I'll come back to the legs, I think. The arms, I think. The legs. LH. 9-2-S-3. Hmm. Okay, so I'm missing the legs. The arms and legs. I don't have the Fudo generator either. Okay, oh, bye, bye. Oh, and welcome, Altison. Let's see, grab the arms, or what they would be A2SL. Ah, here we go. And the LH92S3 legs. Five three or S three. I'm I'm not clear on that. Not enough crit. Darn it! Game, you defy me for the last time. Also, I don't have enough money for that generator too. I bet. Okay. Um. Let's see. Is the Fudo generator? Can I get the Fudo? Nope. Not enough credits. Ah. I didn't want to play your own with it now. Ah uh, well. Bummer. Yeah, I could just sell parts, but I'm stubborn about that. Um, spent so much time in this menu, though. Ah, uh, I want to try that mission one more time, though, because I do I do need to sign off soon because of my usual array of laundry chores and crap. But okay, virus. Okay, the build. Yeah, I'm tabbing that build up right now, Sigma. All right. There's that tab. And there you go, King Thunder. And if you've got that parts list, I'm gonna take a look at that one too. I might have to play with it. I get an off day this week. I might have to play around with a couple of, of these builds. And Altice, and I don't know if you were here earlier, but this is the Desert Eagle with some parts suggestions. Thanks again, King Thunder and Sigma. This, I am really liking this AC. I'm just still trying to get used to it. Okay. And tabbing that video up. Alrighty. So, one more time on that mission. Have your sight hawk? Hmm. Let's see. Oh. I want Raging Torrent to burn. But I feel like I'm missing an important piece with the ECM issues. Hmm. Uh, if I can't do it this time, I'll worry about that, I think, next week. Because this, I, I want to go through this mission specifically. I really do. Because I haven't gone through enough AC missions. Getting enemy ACs to burn. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Sadly, I can't make them literally burn. They, my aim's not good enough for that, even when I do have weapons that are suitable. Ugh. But, you know, a raven can dream. And a raven can dream without the use of flamethrowers, because to hell with those things, I just... No. All right. Can't nobody stop the big white machine. Okay. Arr. No, I don't think I can win Caspian, but that doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying until one of us is in pieces. Preferably you, because... Okay. Oh. Come on. Yes, Vertex, they, they have a habit of doing that, but that poor choice is still pumping a lot of bullets into your face. Okay. 
talking all that good shit like five seconds ago. Where's it? Where, where are your bullets? Got 100 AP. That's all I need. To, okay, I guess it's not all I need. Crap, I wanted to see if I can get in on rats. Still a better result than the last two times. Hmm. Which is kind of sad that that's the case, but it is what it is. <sighs> Kinda hate to end the stream on a loss, but considering how many arena opponents I went through, finishing up a new machine, giving it a name, I call it a net gain. So, thanks again, one and all, for popping in. Thank God, today was a lucid day. Uh, <laughs> I will be back tomorrow with some Onimusha Warlords, and Wednesday I will be returning to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance Hopefully, all during the 4 o'clock hour, work is trying so hard to prevent me from doing that, and just, no, I reject your reality work and substitute my own. Um, that being said, I really do want to do more extra streams, but 4 o'clock, locking myself into 4 o'clock on those, I'm kind of kicking myself in the ass on that one. So what I'm thinking of doing is, just streaming whenever, and if I do stream whenever, it'll probably be between like 4 and 6 on the days that I do it, but I'll leave the standby up for like 10 minutes, because, yeah. It's just that I, I usually have something to do at 5 o'clock, and um, I don't want to like put that off for too long or do it too early, but that being said, I do need to see if I can get some more streams in here and there. But 5 o'clock is generally... It's going to be between 4 and 6 whenever I do extra streams. I just kind of spitballing on the planning. But, you know, it is what it is. Thanks again, one and all, though, for stopping by. I am going to take a look at a certain Twitter post and YouTube video. And I will see you when I see you. Uh, later, party people. Oh, yeah. All right. House, come on. Ah, here we go. Mm, take it easy.